double please. Is this recording? Here, get me with it. All right, so we're making a gray water runoff system, uh, filtration system right here. And the idea is, this was, a, this was a design coined by Richard Powell from Orlando Permaculture. He, he masterminded this design and he has an operating system uh, that's been working for two years at his place. So what you have is a bathtub buried in the ground. Uh, the water comes in from here, so you're going to run your, your gray water runoff pipe that comes directly from your sink or your shower, something like that. And then you have these baffles here. This, this whole uh, tub ends up getting filled up with, uh, with different types of stones of uh, different size. And when the water comes in, what these baffles do is going to keep it from overflowing, so the water is forced to go underneath, it's forced to go underneath this baffle and then it comes back up and it'll overflow over the top of this baffle and then it'll come back underneath this baffle and then come back over here to overflow and the reason for the baffle system is if this was just a bathtub filled with uh filled with gravel the water would just come in uh some of the water would just sit on the bottom and then the new water coming in would literally just come right across the top and then go out the back so uh this this system allows it to go through more layers of filtration and we also will be planting plants, boom, 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 all throughout here. You can use cattails, lilies, different kinds of water grasses, anything that you see growing in ditches or growing in, uh, in ponds around your area, throw it in here. So as you can see, uh, what we're doing here is putting a big rock on the bottom so that it can flow through. And then putting the, the finer rock on top of it. Oh, and I forgot to mention the, the baffles are just made out of a uh, like a rubber membrane. So you could use you know a hardy tarp or a rubber membrane or a pond liner or something like that. And then you're you're gonna want to use like pond liner tape on the edges to hold it in. And then once you get all these rocks in, it pretty much holds the thing in place anyway. So girls here are doing an awesome job. They're apparently doing all the hard work.